what's going on guys and welcome back so in this video um, I'm going to show you guys the process that I've been using to buff with my new buffer uh, I got a DA polisher uh, it's a 6 inch with a 20 I think it's 20 or 21 millimeter throw uh, which is cool because I've always used rotary buffers and that can create swirls and in the end uh, you're much better off using a DA that's what all detailers use and uh, from what I understand it seems detailers are better at paint correction than uh, painters and body men so I would like to take a detailers advice from it so I went and I hit up uh, a local detail shop and he talked me into some certain uh, polishes and or a certain polish and some a couple of nice pads and so I went ahead and picked up this setup right here uh, this is a Harbor Freight Bauer and uh, this thing's a champ guys I'm really enjoying it so far some people say it vibrates but if you're not doing it professionally you know you're just gonna do cars on the side or your own car this is like awesome 120 bucks or something like that and uh, it's really doing a great job the paints coming out really good I uh, the only thing that I've hit with the glaze is like half of the roof and this panel right here and this panel right here is about the highest gloss thing that I've ever seen um, it's ridiculously glossy it looks great under the shop lights at night um, I'm sure you guys can't even see I have some lenses that I want to try to put on the GoPro to show you guys exactly what this paint looks like up close because it's really pretty amazing um, it's very very shiny but this is only the only part that I've hit with it and uh, this part is so smooth this this glaze has like a, a built-in uh, protection like wax so it's gonna protect it as well for a few months but uh, the spoiler I have not yet hit with the DA that still has some scratches but I kind of want to let this thing dry for a little longer before I go and hit this thing with the polisher and uh, buff it out I let all this stuff dry for almost a few months before I went ahead and hit it with um, the final polish so I'll probably do the same thing for the rest of this um, I did get this guy on yesterday and it slightly worries me because it's super tight and I ended up uh, you know stretching it quite a bit to get it on and I had to push down on it but I made sure it was nice and warm um, I just hope that it doesn't crack on me it is what it is if it does I'll just have to figure out another solution but for right now it looks like it's holding good it's very tight on there and it looks pretty good too uh, I just need to get the uh, lower lip section on which will be after I finish buffing today I'm trying to beat the sunlight coming around the trees here and uh, you know ruining my parade so I'm gonna go ahead and continue to buff I've hit um, this section uh, as well as this section with this and some Harbor Freight um, Ultra Cut which is like the heaviest cut we can do and this guy is not going to put any swirls in the paint like a rotary buffer so this is definitely the better method. The rotary is great for taking out those sanding scratches like the really deep sanding scratches but this guy is better for coming back and uh, really buffing up to a high shine so I'll be able to show you guys uh, the difference here between this panel and that panel which you probably won't be able to tell on camera but I promise this panel does have a bit of a higher shine than that one and it's only it's the same compound so enough talking I'm gonna get to buffing and I'll show you guys uh, you know what I'm up to here basically we're just gonna load up the pad with like four drops and then I'm gonna come at this thing uh, with the low speed and sort of work the uh, uh, compound around a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and come back and hit it on high speed and really let it fly and uh, you know just kind of try to do a little paint correction and get rid of any swirls we might have and then we're gonna come back and hit these panels with the glaze and you guys will be able to see just how good it looks
see, I didn't do too many section passes. I'm really just trying to get out uh, the swirl marks. I'm not trying to remove any deep scratches, but I'm just going over it to get rid of any swirls that the uh, rotary left in there. And I think that that is enough uh, compounding and going over at a slow enough speed to do that without removing too much more clear. I don't really want to take too much clear off. I've already buffed this quite a bit. Not that I don't think I have enough left. I would just rather save it for later on down the road. If I do get some scratches or something from regular washes, I have enough clear coat to buff this thing again in a few years and make it look like I just painted it. So that's something to keep in mind too. You can always just save it for later and call it quits where you're at. You don't have to take it down to showroom finish right away, even though I like to, you know, try to do that just because I'm crazy. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do the front fender with the same setup and then I'm gonna call it quits and I think I wanna wash the pad and uh, we'll uh, go ahead and let it dry for doing the rest of the car later when the sun's on the other side of the house uh, and that side's cooled off. But uh, I still do have the hood to do, which I think I'll save for last, but I wanna get both of these sides done so I can start putting my trim back on. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be a huge step for me, putting the trim on and the rear bumper. And I also think I'm ready to throw the side skirt on too. So all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get back to work and uh, see if I can get some progress on this thing today and get it put together. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell. I think maybe I'll, uh, once the sun gets directly overhead, I'll take some close-up videos. But I did do this whole side with the uh, stuff right here. This is Ardex. I'll show you guys. Uh, the other stuff's just Harbor Freight Meguiar's. But this is Ardex. Uh, 4211 stereo glaze number two special machine brightener um, ultra high gloss cleaner so that's like a really fine compound and this right here is a uh, just a polishing pad it's just for polishes and uh, you know it's just really it's it's nice and soft it's not going to do a lot of cutting it's just to bring out the shine so that's kind of where we're at now after we get all the scratches out then we go back and we're just trying to bring shine to everything so I think it did a pretty decent job. I'm really happy with the results. Everything looks really, really, really glossy. I could maybe go over it again, um, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Uh, maybe I'll save that for a later date. Save that for next year. I'll go ahead and uh, you know go over it again or when I'm looking for a little extra shine. But so far, really happy. You, know? you still see the little scratches here and there in the sunlight from the wet sanding process. But like I said, I'm saving the clear coat. Uh, they're really hardly, hardly there. You can barely see them, so. I'm pretty stoked. I think everything is coming out really awesome. I'm happy with the way the paint looks. I'm going to put some lenses on there and show you guys this later, but for now I think I'm going to jump on to removing the rear bumper and putting the rear lip on and uh, just moving forward with getting this thing back together. And I think maybe I'll go ahead and throw on my molding too so I can put my mirror back on and uh, we'll see what this thing's looking like, see if we can get this, this trim piece on as well because I think we're just about ready for that. So I went ahead and hit this whole side with the glaze. It looks really, really awesome. I think I already mentioned that, but I've since taken the bumper off and I have that inside and I'm throwing on the uh, lip and we're gonna see if we can get this thing all together today um, along with the side skirt over here and the other trim piece and try to get like the full effect of everything being put together. Um, I just need to see it. Anyway, that's what I got here with the lip. I'm trying to find hardware. I got all my nuts and bolts out here. Just trying to find something that will, uh, you know, thread into each other so I can bolt this thing on. I got a couple of good ones in here and I got a few in this one. So definitely not going anywhere, but I would like more hardware to tighten up the gaps and stuff like that. But uh, I'm liking the way this, this is looking. I got uh, a little exhaust pipe here that I was messing around with. I think I found this in the scrap metal dumpster at work. But these pipes fit in here pretty nicely. I think it looks pretty sick to have a dual exhaust in this bumper. So that's something that I definitely want to try to do. Just got to find something that fits and uh, fabricate that. And I think that would look pretty awesome. Um, so that's, that's something that I definitely want to do. But overall, this looks really good. I want to go over it right now and hit it with uh, probably just 3,000 to take the nibs off, you know, just denib it a little bit and take down the, a little bit of the choppiness. And uh, yeah, I'll just lightly hit the, all these areas here. And then I'm gonna go over it with the, the little rotary buffer and 
just like I did with the front bumper, and then I'll throw it on the car, and I'm going to give it some time before I come back and actually hit these areas as well. Um, I may go back with 1500 and and just hit some some areas that are really bad. Like this one's got like a uh, drip here, and there's like a run on the bumper that I found over here that I may I may try to get with 1500, but I don't know. It's not going to be perfect. It's just I'm looking for pretty good, um, close enough. The bumpers are bumpers. I think the lips came out better than the bumpers, to be honest. I, I went heavier on the on the clear, so we'll just try to match it up. And uh, overall, I think it's going to look pretty good. I got the uh, housings for the lights to put in as well. So these guys are going to go in. So I got a lot of work to do, but I'm going to get this all fitted, and I'll show you guys what everything looks like once I get it all together. There aren't any letters there, which I think looks a lot cleaner. So I hit it with 600 to get rid of the letters, and then I hit it with 1500, and then with 3000, and then just buffed it really quick. And this thing is like really shiny. Um, I know it's just a marker light, but those little details do count. I would like to tint these at some point, but uh, for right now, I'm really enjoying how shiny it is. It's a nice high gloss. So I'm happy about that. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one. In the meantime, we'll have some nice glossy lights, and then we'll be ready to mount this back on and uh, maybe work on uh, a side skirt or something like that. So here it is all back together, guys. It's uh, really, it's something. I'm pretty stoked. I think it came out really good. Um, it looks awesome in its color. I can't wait to get it out and see it in the sunlight when we have like a nice day. Uh, I still need to do a bit of buffing. The right side needs to be buffed and I need to put the trim on over there. Um, I have the trim on over here in this one location. I gotta put this one on and I gotta put this whole arch on, but I'll get there. Uh, I still wanna do the other side, buff it, and get it to the same point that this side is at. And uh, I'm liking that, what we got going on. It's pretty good, it's looking awesome. Uh, I gotta show you guys my next step though, and that is going to be putting some cavity wax inside of my doors because I'm worried that you know, some rainwater will get through and get into the bottoms of these doors and rot the doors out because there was some rot in the bottom. And I think that's one of the only areas that I'm worried about because, you know, if the bottoms of the doors rot out, um, it ruins my nice paint job. If anywhere else rots out on this thing, uh, it is what it is. Like, I don't think anywhere else is gonna rot. I mean, maybe like in the quarter back here, but I'll see if I can go spray some stuff under there and keep it from rotting. But uh, anyway, um, oh, look at that metallic. That looks so good. Oh my gosh. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just douse the whole crevice there with some of this cavity wax and try to keep it from rotting out. And then I can go ahead and start putting all these doors back together. So I got two of them apart right now. I think I'm gonna take the other two apart and uh, just you know take this time to clean out the bottom here and uh, throw some cavity wax in there. That is what I plan to do um, today. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to knock that out tonight and uh, see if we can get a little bit further with this thing and uh, get it fully put together. All right guys, the GoPro battery died on me and this one's gonna die too because I left it filming while I went for a ride but I didn't take you guys because it was just a quick one. But hope you enjoyed and this is it. You guys will see more of this thing pretty soon but it's looking pretty sweet if you couldn't tell. I'm excited, I'm stoked. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing if you like the car and peace out.